Kahuna. <laughs> Here today I have the Voodoo Quads 210 quadcopter frame. This is a little bit smaller than, the, than its big brother, the 250. Of course it comes with a single main plate. The arms are not detachable just like the big 250. It has the upper plate here. It has uh, two camera mounts that go up in the front. It has a power distribution board. and has this little piece here so when you put your power cable up over the top through this little notch here, this thing goes across and helps hold it in. This is the upper plate and it says this side up for 2204 motors, which is actually the recommended size. Let me go ahead and get some measurement, measurements off these plates. We'll see how thick they are. This main plate is about 2.98 millimeters thick. The uh, upper plate here is 1.5 millimeters. And uh, it also comes with this bag of goodies. And this bag of goodies mostly just has spacers, uh, a little rubber grommet to hold the power cord and a bunch of uh, other screws in here. Anyway, I'll get this put together here in a minute, but also, I also have, oh yeah, the recommended ESC's camera, NASA 32 board, and the 2204 motors. And these are the Voodoo Quads motors. There we go, Voodoo Quads. And these are the 2300 k 2300 kV motors. They're their HP Gold series. So these are the ones I'm going to be putting on here. In the end, uh, I'm going to be building this and then I'm going to be doing a comparison video between this and the 250 so you can get a good view of the uh, differences and see it for yourself. Anyway, let me get the frame put together. So here's the Voodoo 210 fully assembled and this is the front up here where this little groove is cut out and that's because it has these camera mounts here and if you have a camera like this one or you buy from Voodoo Quads, this slips in between the two little pieces here and allows you to adjust the angle of the camera. So if you're new to quadcopters or FPV, you want to point it a little bit straight forward. If you're trying to race faster, you point it up a little bit. If you're Cody Matson, you point it up 90 degrees like this because most of the time your quadcopter is in this kind of angle. <laughs> anyway, that's that's what these little things are for. It also comes with these uh, nylon spacers. It has one long screw that goes up all the way through with a nylon nut there on the bottom and that separates the power distribution board from the bottom frame. Then there's a little bit wider nut that goes in here that separates the power distribution board from the Nasa 32. And then the little nuts up here on the top go on top of the Nasa 32 to hold it all down. And then back here, this is a little rubber grommet. Before you solder your power wires onto your power distribution board, you want to run them through this grommet. And then the grommet slides into this little area, this little notch here. And then this little extra piece goes like this to hold that little grommet and your power wires up out of the way of the spinning propellers. And that will you know help keep it safe on my zmr 250 my motor has been or my wire has been shredded by my propellers and it's wrapped in electrical tape anyway this is the voodoo quads 210 let me get this thing weighed and we'll see how it comes out i'll put the weight of the 250 on the screen but here's the 210 and the 210 comes out at 90.3 grams and that's with all the nylon nuts and all the spacers and grommet and everything installed so here's the frame and here's a five inch propeller and the five inch propeller clears everything just fine. Now, if you're thinking, oh, I'll use a six inch propeller. No, no, you won't. Voodoo Quads just released this frame within the last few months. In fact, I think they're going through their first shipment of orders right now. Anyway, these are the components I'm gonna be using. These are the SN20 amp ESCs and I'm gonna be using the, uh, like I said before, the uh, Voodoo Quads 2300 kV motors and these actually came from Voodoo Quads. So did these actually. And I'm gonna be using a NASA 32 board and this, this special camera. Now I don't know if there's really anything special about this. I think it's just a miniature PZ0420 or whatever they are. But uh, it has the uh, screw mounts on the side that will slip into the uh, carbon fiber um, mounting plates on the uh, Voodoo Quad frame. Anyway, if you have any questions about this, let me know. Uh, if, you wanna, if you're interested in seeing how this compares to the 250, subscribe because after I get this built and get some flying in on it, I'm going to be doing a comparison video between the two. If you have any questions, leave them in the comments and I'll try to help you out as best I can. And as always, thanks for watching.